And welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, Gungans, Joids, Candy Moody Conan, with the extended foreheads and lifespans, and of course, I would never forget the creepy looking Plagueis people in the shadows for reasons we may never know. But one thing I do know, you're watching Arnold Holland at News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. Speaking of choices, people, I want to help you narrow down a choice with this upcoming bonus drop event a lot of you guys might be in a situation like this well let me help you we got some data that's coming in big shout out to the australians from down under for taking one for the team i want to help you guys make a prudent decision kind of a warning psa in regards to this upcoming event don't over invest and the other thing we're going to talk about i've been getting a lot of chit chatter on the radio about this level 90 coming soon yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know people we got a lot to talk about but let's get on to it hop it into the action first thing i want to say really quick before we get into it uh, apologies for not being able to do our grand riddle live stream yesterday some unfortunates have happened over the weekend couldn't uh make it this past monday but don't worry i'm gonna try to put a little highlight reel together grand arena highlight style we haven't been doing much of those greater in highlights. I don't know if it's really helpful to you guys because the same people generally watch the, the stream. But anyways, a lot of cool stuff I want to show you guys in that video there. But nonetheless, what we're focusing on today, as a lot of you know, there's a bonus drop event for most people probably starting up tomorrow. But some people on the other side of the galaxy are getting access to it. And the reason why this video is kind of important, I don't want you guys over investing. I'd say for a grand majority of you folks out there, because we got a punishing one that's uh, within some time the next couple weeks here. So let's get shit chatted about to pick up the upvote for our Gandalf the Pro. <laughs> uh, yeah, crystal management, kind of an important thing. And you can see that CG is playing a little wise right now, being a little smart. They're trying to be drained your crystal reserves. So the punishing one comes out. And as you guys may or may not know, ships generally go with the galactic chase model where if for those that don't know they pick some sort of energy in the game whether it's fleet energy generally it's fleet energy most times cantina energy normal energy and the more energy you spend the more shards you get which kind of conveniently overlaps with the bonus drops they're gonna be giving away zetas giving away chirotex that we described the other day and in case you didn't know, well, don't worry. I wouldn't fret too much that you might be a little bit behind on the hoarding aspect of it all. So just a reminder one more time, in case you were in a cave in Tatooine when this was announced, the punishing one, which is Dengar's ship, is going to be making an appearance, which is supposed to be a, a nice option to lift up the executor fleet. How so? Time will tell. Uh, we have the login calendar for October suggesting that the punishing one is going to be making an appearance in october so we still got a little bit of time before that shows up but the question is should you be going hard on the bonus drop events well we're getting some preliminary data with data from the people on the other side of the galaxy we have our local australian length tank which as you can see you know they put a little bit into their energy reserves the most important i think people are focusing on cantina energy is going to be giving zetas but how many zetas well we kind of got some preliminary data i'm gonna tell you this it's not as generous as we've seen in the past spoiler but we're also getting chirotech and here we go let's just go show what they've been getting over here so here's link as you can see pretty much uh, more or less 3,000 energy for each type of the energy we have in game and they show you where they start off with 19 mark sevens eight of the mark nines they show 14 zetas in the back and after they burnt their energy they got you can see now 54 out of 50 here 49 out of 50 45 out of 20 zetas and in case you don't want to do math because who wants to do math this is galaxy heroes the only math you need are those three wacky numbers on the back of your mom's credit card that's not really math but hey, you know what i'm trying to say we got a nice little summary right here from uh, a uh ag aggie marine 07 totally nailed that name and as you can see they show you how much energy they spent and they show with the energy that they spent here, they spent 3,744 fleet energy. They got 35 Mark 7 Chirotex. Okay. From 30, 3,341 mod energy, Link was able to bank 41 Mark 9 Chirotex from the fleet and Zetas, which probably a lot of you guys are trying to focus on here. They spent 3,140 Cantina energy. They got 31 Zetas from Cantina. So more or less, 
just from length data we're going to show more conglomerate data which generally when you're looking at data you want more than just one person's personal experience this equates to about one mark seven chaotic for every 95 energy one mark nine chaotic for every 91 energy and one zeta for every 101 energy so to keep it nice short and simple what it's looking like right now and the data is going to kind of mimic this it seems like for every one refresh of cantina energy you get about one zeta so by no means is this going to be an event where you're going to be swimming uh, piling up those zetas by any stretch of the imagination and if you want more conglomerate data here we go we got our resident spreadsheet overlord agnard the enlightened genius not answering really dumb stuff and i thought i had some great titles that's a great title right there i'm gonna leave a link down below if you want to nerd out and check out this data a little bit more closely but all i want to kind of get to is this right here the data summarized where so far at the time of this recording they've tracked 924 they've tracked 14,784 energy and what we're seeing out of that 14,784 energy we're seeing 154 zetas that were br brought out which gives us an average drop rate of one percent and they're seeing swings as low as 0.83 percent and as high as 1.48 percent but you guys know averages mean something but more or less that's what people are going to be kind of landing in but you know for all intents and purposes there's going to be obviously like a little bit higher a little bit lower but there's an average for a reason so basically i kind of just want to give you my plans of what i'm going to be doing in my free to play account and what i would suggest for you guys out there if you care what the king of trippy has in mind because again i think in general based off the math i'm like if you were getting like 10 zetas per refresh we'd be talking a little bit different of a story by no means do i think this is going to be an event that's going to give you crazy amounts of zetas of course if you're zeta starved free zetas are free zetas no one's going to complain about that but once you start getting past the point of free and you're starting to spend a lot of crystals or that almighty dollar then all of a sudden we're having a little bit different of a conversation so let me kind of explain what i would recommend what i'm going to be personally doing so let me go pull up the greatest free to play play account of all time mathematically proven i mean literally you don't even got to check and verify i can just believe me so what i'm going to be recommending that people do again if you're just hoarding up your normal routine cantina energy you got nothing to lose it's gonna be free stuff that you weren't gonna get otherwise so if you're farming signal data right now which i am for all my galactic legend stuff that i'm working towards master kill i'm sure a lot of you guys got your own relic stuff that you're farming or let's say you're probably picking up some shards for morgan elsbeth you were gonna do this anyways you have to fart morgan elsbeth you're rushing here to try to get balance go whatever you're doing my recommendation for most people is if you're already doing your usual cantina grind what i would just probably recommend doing just however much you normally spend on your cantina on a daily energy run off that so for example my free to play account i've been hoarding basically the past two days of what i would normally spend on a daily basis which is three cantina refreshes and that's basically all i'm gonna recommend i don't think this is gonna be event you want to maybe overspend on go farther into crystals i think just doing your normal 100 is fine but once you're starting to get into 200s and 400s you're getting some pretty big diminishing returns on your return for energy to zeta transaction so that's that's out that i think i'm just gonna keep it nice sweet and simple with that to spend whatever normal energy would do unless you're somehow maybe maybe cg hates australians i don't know and they're getting the bad drop rates and maybe once it gets over to the people in the us of a and europe maybe you guys will get amazing drop rates and if that's the case i'll leave a pinned comment who knows we update this entire video just do your normal energy don't go overboard and instead i would recommend saving your almighty crystals instead for you know maybe fulcrum i'm predicting fulcrum of soak times will be relic nine don't do it yet but the galactic legend of soka tana requirements maybe save it for your balance goal stuff or maybe hoard up your crystals for next month's inevitable punishing one that's gonna be dropped some nice sweet and simple you know maybe you have about a thousand energy hoard it up that's fine just don't go much more beyond i know they had some energy packs people might have bought in them i don't know if you're really gonna get, gonna get that big of a deal i think the energy pack is no longer in the store anyways that's where we're gonna leave it off for right now don't over invest in this it sucks that the drop rates aren't that amazing but again it's free stuff that you're just gonna get in addition to your normal grind so i'm not gonna complain all that much i just don't want you guys digging yourself into a deep hole and only getting a handful of zetas afterwards yeah yeah although it does suck man <laughs> those lights we bundle people man i feel like you guys are in a really deep hole <laughs> for zetas but any freebies are good freebies let's wrap up with this last thing that we have here 
my fellow Imperials. The last thing I want to bring up is this. I've been getting a lot of chit chat about this, a lot of questions in regards to this level 90. Oh man, level 90. The speculation, the tinfoil hat theory that just will never die. As most folks know, level 85 has been in the game for a very, 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 very long time. Almost pretty much, right? It was like since 2016, I can't remember the exact day, but it's been around for a minute. However, theories of level 90 coming have been boiling up for as long as time can tell. Well, as, if, if time was like the past couple years, yeah, but time, okay. no, no one cared about the rest of history. All they care about is Galaxy of Heroes history. Let's be real for a second. But I would say we're kind of coming back to like kind of a peak of like speculation, <laughs> enthusiasm, concern for a level 90 increase because apparently with some of the new player stuff that they've done recently, there's some, you know, there's obviously different challenges that you get for, you know, oh, wow, look at you, you completed light side level one. Congratulations. We're seeing that there's this apparently upcoming challenge where as you level up, we're seeing this TBA challenge where it goes up to 90. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so the question is, does this mean that level 90 is coming soon? <sighs> I'm gonna say probably not, <laughs> but it's hard, you know, listen, the only people that really know is CG. Not even I know, not even my tactile scanners can figure out if this is gonna be true or not. My hunch is this is more of a bug, a glitch, you know, an error. Wow, <laughs> what a surprise. I thought Galaxy was perfect. Nah, wrong. No, yeah, I, I think this is more of a glitch and actually someone kind of shares a sim similar set. We have this uh, Saldag here. 90 is a placeholder that's existed in game as a bug for a while now. It's just not a high priority fix. I believe that's probably the answer right there. We've seen a lot of other level 90, so like we have some bosses that are level 90 and whatnot. The way I'm looking at this here is the following. Level 85 has been very stagnant for quite a while now, right? But you know what hasn't been stagnant? Gear. We got gear 11, then we got gear 12, then we had gear 12.5, then we had the gear 12 finishers, then we had gear 13, then we had relics one through seven, then later on relic eight with the challenge rank rate, then later on relic nine. If I had to guess, I feel like Relic 10 is gonna happen before a level increase of whatever it might be. Or who knows, maybe they'll happen concurrently. The biggest thing for me is there is a meaningful upgrade to the character when you, at least in this game. Other games, they scale levels differently like Marvel Strike Force, even Lord of the Rings Heroes of the Middle Earth. We're not focusing on that. Games work different in every single game. Not one economy, not one level progression. Character upgrading is gonna be similar to another. Uh, so what I'm getting at is, I just feel like level 85 to level 90 isn't really gonna be a meaningful upgrade compared to let's say a Relic 10 or I don't know, Relic 15, 20, whatever they're gonna be looking at here. Unless they actually do something meaningful. Like some speculations, what if they scaled a certain staff from level 85 to level 90, a lot greater than previous levels? Okay, maybe. But, uh, or what if they require something else other than currency? Because right now we have so many ways to garner currency. You know, you can use your raid currency to pick up credits. You have the Duel the Fates event, which is coming back not too, uh, not too far from now. You're gonna be swimming in credits in that event. Then of course you have the credit heist. In general, I feel like credits is probably the lowest crunch in this game. Now, of course that could change. Maybe that's why they're flooding us of credits. I don't know if that's just them just giving us stuff that we really don't need, but they just want us to feel good or there's something down to it, whether it's a Relic 10. What if Relic 10 required, I don't know, 10, 20 million credits upgrade? What if there was a level 90 and to go from level 85 to level 90 was like 20 million credits? Speculations high, I guess in general, I'm saying I don't know if, it, if and when it's coming. I don't think this is our indication that it's coming. And I just, at least from what we've seen in the past, it's not really a meaningful upgrade. Unlike things like maybe Marvel Strike Force, Lord, even Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth, they learned the bad lessons from Strike Force, making credit crunch horrible and making the leveling process pretty abysmal. I just don't see that being applicable to the current economy that we see in game. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But you know what? If you want to keep a couple 10 mil, 100 mil credits underneath your mattress for a little bit, I'm not going to tell you no. But I will say, if you are swimming in too many credits, we're talking like 300 mil, 500 mil, 1 billion. You probably got a lot of mod work to do. That's the thing you should be focusing on with your credits is modding, my friends. But that's going to wrap it up for today. People, a lot of funny stuff going on out there. 
We'll keep you guys updated. For some reason, the Zeta drops. So the math completely changes once the other side of the galaxy gets a hold of it. We'll let you guys know because you're watching AHN, the only news you'll ever need. Because you have no other choice, of course. Where, of course, people got really mad. We didn't do this the other day. I, I apologize. This is the second apology you're going to get today. I apologize that we didn't wrap up the last AHN with how it's great to be <laughs> in the Empire today.